Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this raven claw stitch, which as you can see here in front of you, uh, very much reminds me of bird claws or raven claws in the way that the stitch is formed. Today we're going to be working the stitch in two different colors. It creates a beautiful solid fabric that is similar on both sides, so it's great for those reversible projects. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be using a little bit of Pima Cotton Yarn by Lion Brand. It's a 100% worsted weight cotton. I'm also going to be using a 5mm crochet hook or an H8. You will find a the direct link to the written instructions in the description on of this video that can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every single Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Also, while you're here, don't forget to say hello down in the comments. And if you uh, feel, you may also let me know how you would use this stitch in an upcoming crochet project. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by taking our color A and by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain, and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of 3 plus 2 stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked for row one, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the third chain from your hook, and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of the raven stitches all the way across. What you're going to do for your first stitch is yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, so just at the base of your turning chain, yarn over and draw up your a loop. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll then have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all seven loops. You're then going to chain one. Your next stitch is going to be worked in the same way, this time beginning in the last stitch worked. So yarn over, insert your hook at the base of this previous stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Repeat that, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. One more time, yarn over into your next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Chain one and you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come across, you'll work your final stitch. You'll have the chain two remaining. So you're going to chain one and work a double crochet into that final chain two space, but changing to color B 
in the final stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain two space, yarn over, draw through two loops, drop your color A, pick up the color B and place it on your hook, yarn over and pull through. There's no need to fasten off your color A, we're going to pick it up again when we come back. With your color B, you can continue by chaining one and turning your work. For row three, we're going to work a single crochet into each chain stitch and each stitch, um, each uh, raven stitch all the way across. So begin with a single crochet into the top of your double crochet, single crochet into the next chain stitch, and then into the top of the raven stitch. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come all the way across, you'll work your final single crochet into the top of your turning chain. You're then going to, once again, chain three and turn your work. You're now simply going to repeat your rows two and three, alternating colors as uh, you go for as long as you would like. So beginning with your first Ravencloth stitch, yarn over, insert your hook at the base of your turning chain, yarn over, drop a loop, repeat over the next two stitches, yarn over, draw through all the loops on your hook, and chain one, repeat. So you're going to continue that all the way across, switch back to your color A, work your single crochet row, and then repeat again for as long as you would like. At the end you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's it for working the raven claw stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another crochet stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye! Mm -hmm.